There's a purpose in life while we're living boom, boom. We share a common goal to make it to heaven boom, boom. Shining our lights so others might see We've got a purpose in life We're working hard To be with you Now, John Tillman, Jr. Would you uh, locate in your Bible the book of Psalms? And I want you to locate Psalms chapter 1. And you hold it when you get there. We'll be there in just a moment. Uh, I'm cognizant of the fact that at the beginning of the year, we make a number of resolutions. We make a number of goals. We do a number of things to say, Lord, it's, it's a new year. I, I want you to bless me. I, I want to live for you. Uh, protect me from danger. Protect me from curses, uh, just, just be with me. And, and, and you hear that floating in the air at the very beginning of the year. But I believe that children of God always want God to bless them. And, and, and so children of God today are in the house of God. And I believe that we prefer blessings to curses. And, and so, would you help me this morning and would you shout, God bless me. God bless me. Shout it again, God bless me. God bless me. God keep me from curses. God keep me from curses. Shout it again, God bless me. God keep, me from curses. God, keep me from curses. Psalms. Psalms, chapter 1. Uh -huh. The Bible, the Word of God, says, Blessed, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But, but his delight, somebody shout delight. His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate. Day and night. Yes, sir. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in season. His leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like, like the chair which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous for the Lord for the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous but the way of the ungodly shall perish shout it again bless me God Shout it again. Keep me from curses, God. And, and, so, and so this morning, I, I, I wanted to speak from the subject, 
blessings or curses? It's your choice. Blessings. Curses, it's your choice. Father, thank you. Thank you for giving us this choice. Thank you that we can make a decision to live a blessed life, to, to encounter one blessing after the other, to be like a tree that that constantly bears fruit, that the leaves never wither. Thank you. Bless us today as we tiptoe into this song. Remind ourselves that you want to bless us. Thank you now, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be seated. You know, I... I believe that what happens to us many times is that we want to be blessed. We don't want to be cursed. But, but somehow the devil mixes our blessings with curses. And, and, and somehow our blessings and our curses get all tangled up together. And it's difficult to see how the curses take over our blessings. If we could keep our mind focused on our blessings, if we could clearly be able to designate what blesses us and what curses us, then we wouldn't allow the two of them. We would separate and make sure that we walked in a way that our blessings did not get contaminated with curses. As I was preparing my final thoughts, I, I thought of Whitney Houston. I thought of Whitney Houston. Beautiful, 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 beautiful black woman. Skin, hair, just a gorgeous woman. And, and then when she opened her mouth and started to sing, melodious sounds just, just seemed to just flow from her mouth. Her, the volume, the intensity, it's like, wow, God, you really blessed this sister. She's beautiful. She sounds so eloquent. Then God, not only did you allow her to look good and to sound good, but Lord, because of her financial prosperity, she lives well. Her, her movies, her name, her blessings, Lord, are abundant. You certainly have blessed her. But somehow, in the midst of all of those blessings, here comes curses. It's like, Whitney, Whitney why, why are you fooling with the wrong kind of guys? Whitney, you can do better than that. Whitney, 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 Whitney why are you putting that nasty stuff in your body? Blessings, curses. So February the 11th, 2012, curses dominated. They found her face down. In the bathtub, 12 inches of water deep, drowned to death. And then, then, then somebody says, Whitney left a baby. Her baby that her and Bobby 
brought in the world by the Christina Brown. Somebody says, wow, 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 she's blessed also. Somebody says, look at her complexion. Look at her skin. Look at her wealth. Listen to her voice. Look at the platform that her mother brought her to and she can stand on that platform. She's got contacts that's unbelievable. Certainly someone would say she's blessed. Somehow word went out that Christina is picking the wrong guy. Drugs have infected her body also. Found her in a bathtub of water also. But by the grace of God, there's still breath in her body. But, 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 but it, it, it brings the lesson to a point of clarity. Yeah. I, I think that we're all blessed. Yeah. But as we are blessed by God Almighty, what the devil, the roaring lion, would like to do is he would like to knock us off. Yeah. He, he would like to steal the blessings that God has anointed us with. And the way he does it, he allows us to think that you know what, I, I, can, I can handle this. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know how far to go. I, I know, I, 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 I can say stop. I, I, I. And before we know it, the curses have overtaken the blessings. It's like Eve. Eve. Eve is walking around in the garden and, 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 and Satan says, did God say don't touch that tree? Did God say don't eat of that tree? Eve says, yeah, yeah, that's what God said. But, but Eve started to look at it. Oh, that's, a, that's a... Oh, boy. Satan said, Satan said, Eve, you know what? If you partake, Eve, you'll be just like God. You'll know right from wrong. You'll be wise. And so Eve started looking and the desires, the blessings, got overtaken by the curses. Can, can I talk to you for a second? I, I, I want to remind us today that God has blessed us. God created you and I in his image. He created us to be the head and not the tail. But you and I have to be cognizant of the fact that the devil would like to mix it up. And so when we, when we look at this song, when we examine this song, the, the psalmist really speaks to what blesses us and what curses us. And, and, and it's interesting because many people will think that, you know what, I'm blessed if I've got this much money in my pocket. Many people will say, I'm blessed if I live in this neighborhood. I'm blessed if I drive this car. I'm blessed if I have this job. I'm blessed if I'm young and healthy. But when you listen, hear me now, when you listen at the psalmist, none of that, none of that matters. In fact, what the psalmist does is the psalmist introduces us to a concept, some characteristics that if we apply in our life, they will make us. Y'all with me today? Yeah. Come, 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 come to this passage. Sit with me in verse number one for a moment. Verse number one. The Bible says, blessed. That's, that's a word for happy. You remember the passage that says, blessed are the dead that die in the Lord? It's like, blessed. Here's, here's the formula. Here's the secret for happiness. Here's the secret for being blessed. He says, blessed is the man that walketh not 
in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. You, you got to see it. It's progressive. It, 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 the, the, the writer says, you, you need to watch who's talking to you. You, you need to watch who's blowing in your ear. He says, the counsel that you get, you need to be careful because if you allow ungodly counsel to come in your life, then all of a sudden you're going to start walking toward that counsel. And, 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 and after you walk toward that counsel for a while, all of a sudden you're going to stand and say, oh, give me some more of that. That's, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. What, Willie, what time are you going to call me? What you say, Willie, as soon as you drop her off, Willie, you, what, what time now? You walking, and all of a sudden you standing. Oh, Willie, that was good. The, the, don't, don't miss it. The writer says it's, it's, it's progressive. It, it's, it, it's like Lot. You remember when Lot was with Abraham? All of a sudden, Abraham and Lot's servants were having a battle because of the land, and they were fighting over the land. And Abraham said to Lot, come here, son. You, you decide. If you want to go to the left, I'll go to the right. You go, want to go to the right, I'll go to the left. And the Bible says Lot lifted up his eyes, and he looked. Somebody shout, he looked. He looked. And, and when he looked, he looked toward Sodom. And go by because the grass was green on the other side. Somebody need to hear me. Don't let the green grass fool you. Oh, I said something then. Don't let the green grass fool you. He, he looked. He lifted up his eyes. He looked toward Sodom, and it looked green. Then the Bible says he moved from looking to pitching his tent toward. He, he moved from the position that, 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 that was a position where you caught my attention, you caught my fancy, and now he's moved closer to it. But when all of a sudden we get into Genesis chapter 19, he's sitting. What, 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 what happened, Lot? What, what happened, Lot? Sin is progressive. Sin is progressive. And, 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 and the writer wants us to know that, that there are some things that we need to be mindful of if we want to maintain the blessing. And one of the things that surfaces that we need to hear is that we need to be mindful of our companionships. Hello. Who are you running with? Who are you talking on the phone to? The birds of a feather, they what? You can't wallow with the what? And then fly with the what? And so he, he lets us know very clearly that the council, the people that we listen to, the people that we have friendships with, the things that we interact with, the movies, the TV programs, the stuff on the computer, all of those things when they enter into our processor can affect us adversely. Somebody needs to be mindful of the fact you're blessed. But when you put garbage in, when you put garbage in, when all you do is hang with garbage, when all you do is think about garbage, then And so, so, so hear it clearly. He reminds us that all of us are being influenced. Whether we think we are being influenced or not, we are being influenced, and we are being influenced by the environment that we're in. We're being influenced by the people we listen to. And so he says right up front, you know what, take note. Be careful of those people that you spend all, be careful of those things. Anybody heard the name Adolf Hitler? Yes, sir. 
Adolf Hitler influenced people to do something unthinkable. How, how in the world did one man influence so many people into doing something as hideous as putting somebody in an oven and burning them alive? How did one person influence other people, scientists, doctors, that they would do experiments? Influence. But then there's another name. You've heard of that name, Hot Gandhi. Mr. Gandhi, Mr. Gandhi spoke of nonviolence. He was a man from India, a long, long ways away from South Africa, a long, long way away from the United States of America. But because of his philosophy, because of his influence in South Africa, Nelson Mandela embraced the thinking and apartheid system in America. Martin Luther King embraced Gandhi's thinking and the civil rights movement became a nonviolent movement and in both countries people were freed because of the influence of one somebody. And, and so, so, so as you sit here this morning, I, I want to make you aware that you ought to be concerned about who you hang around with. You ought to be concerned about who influences you. He, he, said, he said, now if you want to be blessed, you need to be mindful that the ungodly will give you counsel and that counsel will ruin your blessings. So for that particular verse, if you don't mind me, just summing it up. What I'd like to say to you is be careful. Somebody shout, be careful. Be careful. be careful. be careful what and who you listen to. Thank you. Be careful. Look at the person next to you. Help me with this. Look, look at the person next to you and just kind of point your finger. You don't really know what's going on in their lives, but point your finger and just tell them, you, you know, you, you need to be careful. Just tell them, you need to be careful. Be careful at what and who you listen to. Point your finger. Just tell them, be careful now. Then, 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 then point your finger and say, be careful where you go. Just, just, just be careful now. And, and then tell them, be careful with who you hang around with. Come, come, come now. Come now. Come now, look at, look at verse number two with me very quickly. Verse number two, verse number two. The Bible says, but his delight. Will somebody shout delight? But his delight. His delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doeth he meditate. Somebody shout meditate. meditate. Day and night. I, 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 don't want you, I, I don't want you to miss those two words. They, they just seem to hang that verse. One is the word meditate. The other is delight. Delight and meditate. Delight and meditate. Somebody shout delight. delight. Somebody shout meditate. meditate. So, 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 so you, you, you want to know what I get delighted about? What? Would it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? That's the question that you and I need to answer. That's the question that rings in my ears today. What would it profit me? What would it profit you if we got all of the things we wanted? We, we got the right job. We got the right income. We got the right house. We got the right car. We got all of the things we wanted and then lost our soul. That's sad. And, 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 and so 
You, you really want to know what the Blessing Connection program is all about? It, it's about helping me. It's about helping you. It's about helping men and women be able to stand before God and hear God say in the life to come, well done. Don't you want to hear God say, well done? I want to hear God say, well done, our good and faithful servant. And so as you watch these videos of people getting baptized, understand what baptism really means. Baptism is really a symbolic act. It represents the life, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It, it represents the fact that I have given my life, I am being buried, I am being raised again to live a new life in Christ Jesus. It's, it's the opportunity for me to stand before God and hear God say, the substitution death of Jesus Christ, I no longer see you, I see him. It's Christ taking my place. It's not about my works, it's about the grace of God and that God sent his only begotten son. And so when you see someone get baptized, what they're really saying is that I've heard the good news that God sent his only begotten son. I believe that Jesus is God's son. I will confess with my mouth proudly that Jesus Christ is the son of God. I will repent of my sin. I no longer want to sit on the throne. I want Jesus to sit on the throne. I'm going down. I am getting baptized because I want to be able to say it's no longer I who lives in me. It's Christ who lives in me. That's what the passage is about in Romans chapter six, verse number four. Let me read it to you. We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the father, we, that's you and I, we too may live a new life. Well, that's the plan of salvation. And for today, that's the blessing connection. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's our joy to uh, share this program with men and women around the world. And I pray it blessed your life. Our service times begin on Sunday morning with Bible study at 9 a.m. with classes for all ages, morning worship, 10 a.m. Evening worship, 5 p.m. And on Wednesdays, our midweek Bible study begins at 7 p.m. Please come and be our guest. If you are calling to request prayer, please dial 1-855-45-CONNECT. Our Twitter account is at Connect With Him. If you would like to purchase, call 1-855-45-CONNECT. 